King Pen is in the spot. Y'all know what it is. Pendulum Inks on. Yeah. You talk feel me? It. Talk about it. We back outside. Talk about it. Against the legend. Only Rex. The legend. You feel me? According to um, Shout out to Rex, man. You know, you've done so much work in your career. You know what I'm saying? You put on a lot of great battles for this battle rap culture. Classics. Champion of the year. What does it mean for you to be battling Rex now at this stage of your career? It's definitely a legacy play, man. Um, you know, Rex is, you know, I'm not, I've never hid the fact that like Moog, Lux, Rex, like, that's, that's three at all my Mount Rushmore. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Like, I me, actually those, just watched those, an interview with you earlier saying that those, you, those. you modeled your style after my, Mook and Lux. Literally. Right, so like you know, this this for me is an opportunity like to get to battle somebody that I that I, you know, what I'm saying that had a big influence on my style. You know what I'm saying? So um, this this one means a lot, man. It's, it's the return of Massacre. Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest cards of the year. Yes. You know, if not the biggest. If not the biggest. Yeah, yeah. Card of the year. Mm -hmm. Two days. Um, <laughs> you know, me and Rex being one of the four main events. Um, you know, this, this battle definitely means a lot to me. It's the most motivated I've been for a battle in years. Mm. Um, we getting champion chiller? Like, no, I'm excited. Ch this might, this, listen. <laughs> you in that bag? Listen, I'm in a, I can't be stopped type chiller? The, the, ba the bag <laughs> I'm in for this battle is... I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to compare it, but it feels the most like my shine rounds. Mm. It feels the most like my shine rounds, how comfortable I am with them, style of attacking. I just gotta perform them the same. Yeah. But like content wise, they remind me a lot of the rounds I have for K-Shine. I don't think that's a coincidence, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, like, same amount of respect and admiration I have for Rex, the same, you know, same that I have for Shine. You know what I'm saying? I respect Shine the same way. Um, and I prepared appropriately as such. So, um, nah, this this one means a lot to me, man. This ain't just a this ain't just a check. This ain't just you know me just wanting to be a part of a part of the card. I literally told King of the Dot and you know Kenny and TBL like I'm good. Mm. Whatever y'all would pay me, pay somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Get get somebody else on here. Let's bring somebody else out here that maybe hasn't debuted or hasn't been on Massacre. And they were all like, yeah, nah, we gotta. We need you, you tell us who, who you want, and, yeah. and we'll go get them. Damn, it was like that. So, you know, I, I gave him two names. I said, "Bring me Verb, or bring me Rex." Mm. And they they brought you Rex. So they brought me Rex, and I'm and I'm happy. I'm happy that that's the matchup we have. Um, you know, me and Verb can happen happen whenever, but I think me and Rex happening in, in masses is potentially very very special. Oh. I know Rex is motivated. I know he's gonna do what he do. Um, I, I know what these rounds sound like. As long as he do what he's supposed to do, man, you gotta have one of them once. So. When was Hopefully the last time you battled? I mean, I battled a few times this year on TBL. Okay. I battled Lockhart on TBL okay. a couple years, a uh, couple years, a couple months ago. Uh, I battled Ant Keith at the Nino Strong event. Got gotcha. K-Rock battled Yogi at. Okay, okay. Um, you just been really putting on for TBL. But I've been really, yeah. Like, I've, I've been battling locally. I've been doing some TBL stuff just to kind of continue to build the scene here and, and build the region up. But Okay. Like, most actively, like, Vixen was last September. Okay. Klutz was last July. Like, I remember that, yeah. So I haven't been, you know what I'm it, saying? Like, yeah. I haven't been popping out like that on, on major see. leagues. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I've really been chilling. I've really been focusing on Pendulum Inc. I've really been just, just kind of locked into what I got going outside of battle rap, but... But for this weekend, man, I'm going I'm to jump back in my in my bag and just give y'all a reminder. Mm. Just, just give y'all a refresh y'all memory on why I'm, I'm the scariest nigga walking when I feel like it. Mm. You know so I'm looking forward to, to reminding the masses what I do. I'm going to ask you this. When's the last war you've been in that you feel like you've been in? And again, against who? War. B-Dot was the last war. 
It's the last person that made you have to step, put that gear, like hit that gear. I, I mean, I mean, Rock was after that. Okay, yes. You know what I'm saying? And that, that was a really good battle. Yeah. Um, you know, I think Rock, Rock con consensus is that Rock won. Yeah, I remember. Um, and that was a, you know, that was a really, a really tough test for me. Um, but like, really, like, if you look at, if you look at my past, say, three years, Emerson, Kid Chaos, it's Rock. Um, Klutz, Vixen, Sirius. Hmm. Like six or seven names, man. I, you know, I haven't like ever since I won Champion of the Year. Really, kind of chill. Just been chilling. Yeah. Like I, like I haven't been as, you know, I, I feel like people are used to seeing me or have been used to seeing me, you know, eight or ten times a year. But since like 2021, 2022, I've really been popping out like two, three times a year. Like, not, yeah. not really like that. You know, small leagues here and there. But as far as, like, major league pops out, I haven't I haven't been out like that. So, um... The last war you've been in, Chilla. last war. I guess it'd be Rock. Rock, okay. I guess it'd be Rock. That was a war for you. I guess it'd be Rock, yeah. Mm. Last last war, definitely Tay Rock. And that was, like, June 2021. Mm. So what, three years ago? So, so do you feel like Rex is about to give you this war again? Like this, this, <laughs> this is a war right like here. If, if, I feel like if Rex is on ten, it's that. Okay. Who that Pep? What's up, my boy? Okay. Um, if Rex is on ten, it's gonna be that. You know what I'm saying? I I know what Rex does. I know the crowd is excited to see Rex. The region is excited to see Rex. Facts. Um. So I know if Rex is on 10 and he's slamming that hat and he's mean mugging and he's looking, not blinking. If he's doing yeah. everything that we want him to do, so I know I know it's going to be one of the ones. But I promise you, if he's not on yeah. that level, I'm going to dust that nigga off. Damn. Promise. promise. If Rex promise. ain't on his shit, you're going to dust him off. It's some of my best work. I'm really happy with this work. Okay. Like, like I just hope. Okay, so you, he do what he do, and we got a class. Like like with the shine, you did the Matrix. You went, you went, you, you in that type. This of this work is this work is spectacular. Yeah, knowledge. this work is spectacular. Oh, oh I want to ask you this too. You the like scheme god king, like you know what I mean when it comes to scheming, like. Nobody schemes Facts. on the level of Chilla. Like you, Ever. you branded that. You know what I'm saying? Um, for you, what do you think about where scheming is at in the culture? You know what I'm saying? You made it popular. You know what I'm saying? You. I don't feel like people even like like it still happens. Yeah. Right. But yeah. like, you know, there, there was that 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 phase after I debuted where it was like everywhere, and it was. Your, your Brooklyn Carters, your Chesses, your Preps, your Sagas, your Steams, that that whole class was doing it. Mm -hmm. We had the vets like Clips and, mm -hmm. and, you know, everybody was scheming up to a point, right? And then, like, I feel like the era we've been in is, like, the punch era. Right? Yes. Not, like, not like, like, because of Nitty, because of Av, mm -hmm. because of Big K, because of Rock, even. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like now, now the formula is, like... Fonz, you, you Fonz, you, you got to be a puncher. You got to be able to punch. You got to be able to 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 put together a very very crazy type of punchline, right? Mm -hmm. Um, that, that's that's what it feels like. So I don't I don't feel like scheming is even something that people focus on, mm -hmm. or something that people kind of utilize as much as they should. There's a few people out there, man. Salute to my guy Wade Phenom. Mm -hmm. Um, you know he's somebody on the come up. That I think is a terrific schemer. What's um, his name? His name is Wade Phenom. Okay. Um, I battled him. I think it was April of this year. Okay. And a one rounder, a little one rounder. What? Well, well, did he scheme? Cause he knew he was battling Chilla. <laughs> nah, that's actually his style. Okay, I, I, dope. I think that's why they they put that matchup together gotcha, because they gotcha. was like, yo, I, I you know I want to see what he does against Chilla. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to grandfather that style, so. Um, you know, that was a, a, a good battle, and, and that was a battle where I feel like he, he did a really good job showcasing, you know what I'm saying, what he can do with scheme. But I don't feel like it's definitely not as popular as it used to be, um, and I love that for me. Because when everybody else was doing it, it was mm. like, we don't want to hear Chilla scheme anymore because everybody else is scheming terribly, and so we don't have any patience. <laughs> terribly? Teams. So it's just we don't we don't want it we don't want to hear it. So, so got you. I have to reconstruct my whole style. Yeah. 
just to be able to, you know what I'm saying? You know, just to be able to keep people's attention. But now that people aren't doing it, I can kind of get back in that bag a little bit and, and do some different things. So, you know, depending on how active I am, you might see a, you might see me kind of get back in that old bag, but just in a newer way. You know what I'm saying? In, in, a, in a 2024 type of type of version. At, at this stage in your career, how much fun are you still having with battle rap as as a performer, artist, and everything like that? The the fun part is prepping for me. Okay. The performance part is anxiety. Okay. <laughs> Getting on it's that like, stage and like, having okay. to deliver. It's like being on the stage, having to deliver flawlessly. Like, it's not. It's not even that it's difficult. It's not. It's not like a difficult. Oh, yeah. But it, but but that's the anxious part of it. Got that's you. the part of it that's like. Okay. I gotta put on this show. This is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, when I'm when I'm sitting at my computer and it's 4:30 a.m. and I'm I'm smoking and I'm in my zone and I think it out that one scheme or that one punch mm -hmm. or that one angle and I'm like, ooh, this is it. Like. That's the fun part for me, right? Like mm -hmm. that's always been the fun part for me is like what my mind can come up with and what I can create to attack my to attack my ops. The performance part of it is always the anxiety where it's like, okay, the, the fun is gone. Now I gotta repeat this shit a thousand times over yeah. the next ten days to make sure it's committed to memory. Then I gotta do it perfectly in front of these cameras so yeah. that it doesn't live in history as yeah. a choke or a yeah. stumble yeah. or a fuck up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. So it's, it's 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 a lot and i think as i've grown older like i've 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 grown to appreciate the process at, as a whole but the fun part is always prep fun part is always mm. is always prep but i will say in regards to the performance side like seeing reactions when you're performing yeah that's also where the fun part uh -huh. is. It's like a right? power booster, right? It's like, yeah. It's like when you say some shit and you see somebody, or you see somebody, you know what I'm saying, make a certain face or, or walk out of the ring, or, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like when you make somebody do shit that. Shit you hype. It's like, yeah. It's like, is it the same it, when it you moves. don't get that, though? It takes um, away a doom. It takes I, a... <laughs> I, think, I think it depends, right? Like, yeah. like if I'm the away team, uh -huh. I've already trained myself to not even care Get reaction how or... niggas react. Like, I'm probably battling your homie. I'm probably battling somebody you know. They probably got 50 to 60 of their own people there because they know they're battling Chilla today. So, yeah, I expect to hit you with some phenomenal shit and have niggas stone face. That's like... Like, okay. Got you. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm used to that. I expect that, right? But then there's also times like tomorrow where I'm home. If I was a nigga without a pen, <laughs> I know that a lot of the shit that I say is... is they gonna show me some... They gonna show love. Uh-huh. But I know what I got in these three rounds. Yeah. <laughs> they gonna love it. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, at the at the end of the day, man, like it, it don't really affect me to not get a reaction because I, you know, I know I know to rap toward the camera regardless. Let me ask you this, right? Is it easier now than when you started? Because it's a lot, and I want to say this because a lot of times, you know, when you starting, you're excited, you're fresh, everything is fun all the time. You've been in the game for so long. Mm -hmm. Is it is it easier now to do what you do, or is it like a little tougher to get? on that bike and start riding and get to, um, you know what I mean? Or have that motivation, like, so, oh, okay. So, to, so to, to answer that question, right, some aspects are easier, some aspects are not. The motivation is tougher. Okay. Right? To get and excited so, about doing this shit? Which is why I do it less. Gotcha. Right? Because, like, depending on the matchup, I just have so much other shit going on between Pendulum Inc. and other things. Pendulum Inc. is about and designed to encourage, foster, build up rappers and MCs. Mm -hmm. Battle rap is the exact opposite. I have to take your confidence away. Okay. I have to make you look crazy. I have to discredit you. I just told niggas Rex is on my Mount Rushmore and for three rounds, I'm finna act like he's dirt. Gotcha. I have to. It's, yeah. it's, part, it's, part, of it's part of the job. I'm going to be able to convince you that he's dirt. <laughs> and I'm going to do an interview with him after and say this nigga's one of the goats. And yeah. he's on my Mount Rushmore. And yeah, gotcha. I just beat him. But, gotcha. he, but, he, but that's, he's still a legend. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Um, 
So, you know, that, that part of it is difficult. The process is easier, right? Because I have a, because I have a formula, okay? The battle's locked in, let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Now let me do this. Now let me put this here. Like it like it's I've done it so many times that my own personal formula is there. I know how 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 it looks. I know what what to do. It's just the motivation of like does this battle does this battle put me in that mind space where it's easy? You know what mm. I'm saying? The Rex battle definitely does. But there's sometimes other battles. Sometimes it might be small league battles. Sometimes it might be other shit where, I, where I'm literally sitting there and it might be like six days before and I'm like, I can't. And, it, and it sometimes is the pressure mm -hmm. of knowing, oh, the battle's in six days. I got to kick this shit up. Sometimes it's the pressure that, yeah. that, that turns the wheel. Yeah, I can't look crazy when I get on that stage. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But for Rex, I was, I was ready last week. Mm. My rounds are committed I'm right, right now. This was this was a fun battle to I'm get good. ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Mm. I got three rounds and I got a whole bunch of extra shit. Just Fire. In case. You know what I'm saying? Like, but Chilla, so. I can't wait to see this battle. Um, day one or day two? Day one, man. So you day tomorrow? Listen, tomorrow? Listen, let me tell y'all day one <laughs> because the lineup is crazy. Yeah. Geechee and Marv one. Yes. Chilla Jones, T Rex. Uh huh. Past New Jersey twerk, mm. A Ward and Thesaurus, mm. Sharon and Forty Bars, mm. Mike P versus Real Deal, mm. Chef Trez versus Excel, E Farrell versus Pep. Eight battles. Most of the battles are, are two minute rounds. Geechee and Marv will probably be a little, you know, probably closer to the two thirty rounds. Yeah, two two thirty. But these battles, ain't, these, these ain't gonna be, you know, these ain't gonna be big stage, 45, 50 minute battles, y'all. Yeah. These battles is gonna be done in 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. We gonna get to the point, we gonna get up out of there, who you think won, you know mm. what I'm saying? It's gonna be fun to watch, it's gonna be easy to watch, minimal breaks, pay-per-view is gonna run perfectly and y'all gonna fuck with it, you know mm. what I'm saying? So. Get y'all tickets, y'all see what it is, we here with the King, Killer King Get your tickets fan. if you're local. KOTDTV.com if you want to cop the pay-per-view. But it's a must-have, man. $60 for 15 battles over two days. Don't be a fool, yeah, That's man. 25 that's a day, y'all. It ain't that serious. That's light. Come on, man. That's light. They're giving you a lot. A lot. That's light. Plus, you're getting a lot of extra shit on the stream. You're getting extra, extra unreleased content, battles, freestyle. Come on, man. What would you think about Rock and Twerk's debut? Okay, like just them if debuting. Be, if, if we being tall, uh huh. Let's talk about all the. Debuts. And I don't. Is John John debuting his first? Is this? I don't he's know. On, oh, go here. Okay, yeah. Dollar. Okay. But let me tell you who has it. Rock. Okay. Twerk. Mm hmm. Yoshi. Mm. Chirac. Mm. Um. Elijah Straight. Um. I think there's two more that are missing. I think Chef Trez. Okay. And I think, excuse me, and I think there's one more. I can't remember who off the top of my head. But there's like seven people making seven their debuts. King of the Dot debut. Yeah, that's dope. Then you have myself, former champion. You got Thesaurus, former champion. Then you got Big K, champion of the year. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, movie Carter, shit. Carter, Carter Stack, bro. Yeah. I was having a conversation, I think, with the Soros, and he was like, yo, if you made a list of the top 50 battle rappers ever, you might find 15 of them on this card. Sheesh. Really think about it. Mm. You might find 15 of them Facts. on this card. Nah, you're right. You're right. Crazy. We stack. Crazy. Salute the organic, king of the die for putting this together, TBL, yes, for working it all in conjunction yes, and making sir. this happen. Battle and this is Salute what we need right Mike, now in the Mike, culture. Uh, we need some great battles. We need some, you know what I'm saying, some hard hitting, impactful battles. It's, we in a drought. We in a drought. This 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 should serve the community very well. Mm. This should serve the community very well, man. Make sure you get your tickets. Hip hop is real. Let's get it. Ah.